How have you guys really reduced the touch points? Yeah. So one of the early things we did certainly was the chat bot. And it was interesting. The driver for that was just, we were worried our call centers were going to be overloaded, like with people just saying, do I have COVID, right? So the chat bot was actually driven by that more than anything. We saw a really big peak early. It's, it's kind of stabilized now. People are, you know, comfortable. Our call centers can handle the volume. People are settled into whether they should get tested. It's not as big of a question. So we did that really, I mean, literally within three days, we had a chat bot in our uh, innovations team kind of ready to use for some different workflows and we just repurposed it and it was very, very uh, quick and easy for us to get it out there. In terms of the other use cases, iPads on a stick, as we like to call them, were not only useful for consults, right? You have this, this physician consult need, well, what if the patient is isolated with COVID and you don't want a PPE off? This was back when PPE was our biggest concern. So we created some of that. We have some of our rooms wired for virtual ICU anyways that you can do that easily. But for those that weren't, we needed a mobile solution. So we've got some of those that allow the virtual consults to occur and extend it. We already had a virtual consult infrastructure just not to scale it to hundreds of patients all at once. So we did that quickly. One of the most heartbreaking things, of course, is how isolated people are in this disease because of the, the physical separation. And so very early on, we did use an iPad-based solution to allow uh, patients to connect with their family members via video. And we're now going to kind of the next iteration of that to allow a new infrastructure that's a little bit easier, a little bit more consistent, can use some of the, the TV infrastructure in the rooms on occasion or a mobile device for that. So we, we've done some of those things as well along the way, implemented some text-based uh, inter interactions. I talked about the work vir virtual waiting room. So we know that we didn't want people waiting and congregating in the building so they can sit in the parking lot, send a text message, do the, the check-in and all that procedure essentially in their car, and then get a text message when to come in and where to go directly. So we kind of avoid that the distancing issues. But we also have revised waiting rooms just physically with more social distancing, put the plexiglass up, and done all of that stuff as well in the process. So if you think about the entire span of things, where we weren't digital, we tried to drive some digital in, and we still have more, more space to go. And then in areas where we're physical, we just kind of looked at how can we leverage digital and tech in, a, in addition to just the basic stuff to make that a safer and less touch. touch are, 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 